I always liked St. Michael and it, as a child we would get little holy cards and then you know we'd say the prayer about the angel of God that would protect us and so the idea of angels and, and especially St. Michael who is such a wonderful angel often they've considered him as a warrior but I uh, but I, I keep thinking, well, the, the warrior that would combat the evils of war, greed, and poverty, and hunger, that he would fight those. So looking at it uh, from another way, he is um, revered by uh, the Muslim and the Jewish and the Christian, that there are many stories of this uh, uh, wonderful angel in the holy books of, of the different religions. It has the feeling of a Mexican uh, retablo or a carving of St. Michael in a church. And it also looks like an Asian, uh, like a Chinese painting. And it, and it also has the feeling of an icon. So I've combined many uh, visual elements into this one work. The actual printing was uh, very elaborate, but it it really challenged me to do and learn a lot more and to explore and try techniques that I hadn't done before. And because of that, I, I felt I had grown a lot in the, the way I printed and my confidence in my abilities. I had done a painting in 1980 that was very elaborate and, and this, this serigraph that I did in 2006 is based on it. The original painting that I did was uh, very grand and it w I tried some experimenting with it to create glazes over, I would spatter areas and then glaze them and it had a great feeling of depth and, and then, uh, so when I decided to do in 2006, 26 years later, when I started to do the, the serigraph, I had to try to figure out how to create this shaping and this glazing and depths for each of uh, on the clouds and these constellations. There was a circle of gold around each of the angels, but when I decided to do it as a, a serigraph, I decided to create like a mandala type patterning all around, especially around St. Michael. So it's like an emblem of the sun and so I had to draw like patterns and shapes that would, each one would be different. On the wings, there's lots of reticulation of each, like every hair of the feather to make it a re really tactile and also uh, exciting to look at.